So for today's lesson, we will cover um, the topic of festivals. All right. Do you all know what is meant by festivals? Hmm. Yixin, do you know what is meant by festivals? Yeah. Uh, yeah, sort of. It's like something you celebrate. Okay. Festival is something you celebrate. Uh, and also, it's also uh, the same as special occasion. All right, you can write over there. Festival is just the same as for special occasion we spend. Oh, uh, sorry, special occasion we celebrate. Special occasion we celebrate. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes they will ask us on um special occasion that we celebrate like Chinese New Year, Deepawali, Hari Raya, Mooncake festivals. All right, so you so you can learn about other people's culture. All right, clear? Like for Christians, they celebrate Christmas, okay? And then uh other people they celebrate uh Wisak Day. Uh-huh. Okay, so in this picture, you can see a series of four pictures, uh, sorry, a series of three pictures and one more is blanked out. Okay, and then they never um, show any picture for the fourth, uh, for the fourth series, uh, for the, yeah, for the fourth series, uh, sorry, for the fourth picture. They don't show you anything. So what can we see from this picture? Okay, so I'm going to ask each of you to answer me. So Yixin, you tell me what is on the first picture. What can you see? A mother. Mm -hmm, then. What can you see on the first picture? Hmm. Shopping. Shopping, yeah. You can say mother a mother brought them to go shopping. Okay. A mother brought them to go shopping. <clears throat> okay, to buy things for Christmas. Okay. And then number two, you are what can you see from the picture? Yeah, you are. What can you see from the picture here? A boy. Mm -hmm. Pointing the Christmas tree. Pointing at the Christmas tree, yeah. They saw a Christmas tree, a big Christmas tree outside the shopping mall, you can say, outside the shopping mall. All right? And it was beautifully decorated. The shopping mall was decorated. It uh, was beautifully decorated. Okay, and then number three, Lero, what can you see from picture three? Yeah. They are getting in the car. Mm -hmm. They are getting into the car and then they are ready to? Go home. Yeah, go home. Very good. They are ready to go home. Okay, and then I should change everything into past tense. They were ready to go home. Okay, they were getting into the car and ready to go home. Okay, and then number four, Abby, what do you think about number four? The fourth picture. Actually, you don't need to follow exactly the same like what they have shown you. So for the fourth picture, you can try to imagine once you get into the house, <clears throat> once you get home, what do you do? They buy the, uh, they go home and decorate their their own Christmas tree. Okay, they went up. Uh, they went home and set up. Uh, sorry, set up their own Christmas tree. Yeah, okay, right. Set up their own Christmas. Set up the own their own Christmas tree. Yeah, okay, right over there. Set up their own Christmas tree. At home. Okay. And there are many more. So other than that, 
they start like they start writing cards, you know, and what else? Hmm. And then they start exchanging gifts, okay? They start exchanging gifts. Okay? They exchange gifts with one another. Okay? They exchanged with ED gift. They exchange gifts with one another. So, okay, I'll skip the picture study and creative, right, uh, and creative thinking. You can go back and um, see it for yourself, okay? So, I'm going to move on to the next one. Like, have you all finished copying this one? <clears throat> Have you finished copying? Good. And then um, let's move on to this. Okay, you can read the. I'm I'm going to pick um some of you to to read the paragraph. Okay, there are one, two, three, four, four paragraphs, and there are five of you. No mind. So one will do. Uh, another person will do the next one. Okay, so read the composition. Pay attention to how. The helping words are used. Okay. So Felice, are you there? <clears throat> Just came in, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. So um can you turn on your camera? <laughs> oh, are you still in the car? Okay. Good. So can you read the first paragraph, Felice? Is that okay if you read the first paragraph? For Christmas? Is that okay? For you to read the first paragraph? Yeah. Yeah. Two weeks before Christmas, my family went to Spain. We went to Orchard Road with the popular shopping belt with the local entries. We shop from one shopping mall to another and and bought many things. Both of them were gifts for families, member and friends. We had to out uh, carefully what we want to get for each of them. Yeah, okay, good. So you can see some words, okay, that you might not understand. You can see the word shopping belt. Okay, I know belt is a kind of equipment that we wear. Okay, like for men, they wear a belt. But what about shopping belt? A shopping belt is basically a shopping area. Okay, a shopping area in which you just walk straight. Okay, you just walk straight. Right? Okay? So, um, and then over there, you will see a lot of locals and tourists shopping over there. Okay, so that, that is called a shopping belt. Okay, they went to Orchard Road, which is a popular shopping belt with the locals and tourists. Okay, so you can put a bracket. You can bracket it up for the word shopping belt. Okay, we shop from one shopping mall to another and bought many things. Okay, right. You can actually do shopping mall hopping. It's like you can go to this shopping mall and go to another shopping mall afterwards. Okay, and most of them were gifts for family members and friends. Okay, so when you do shopping, you can actually buy gifts for your family members and friends. Okay, we had thought out carefully what we wanted to get for each of them. Okay, yeah, you will actually like think carefully like um what, what should be the one that is suitable for your friend, okay? Right, you won't buy something that is too expensive or too useless, okay? You will buy something that is useful and maybe affordable for your friend, okay? And you have to consider the budget too, okay? The budget you have when you buy gifts, 
Okay, so you have to think out carefully. Normally, what do we think for? Uh, what do we think before buying things? Number one, we think of, but what is it? The first thing we think of before we buy things. What is it? The first, the first thing we think of. Valuable or not valuable? Yeah, valuable or not. Yeah, the first thing we think is, is it valuable or not? Okay. The second thing is we think about the price, correct? Whether it's too expensive or or it's affordable. We pick the one that is affordable, right? Yeah, good. So number two, um, Lero. <clears throat> so can you read the second paragraph after we had done? After we had done our shopping, hmm? mother suggested that we... Stroke up the atmosphere. Atmosphere of Christmas. Mm -hmm. We were carrying back many bags mm -hmm. of presents. So father suggests that we put our shopping bags in the car first. Then we walk down the Haven. Haven and look at the decoration that we put up along the road and on the exterior. Exterior of the mall, there was a big Christmas tree outside the shopping mall. It was beautiful, decorated with colorful bells and flashing lights. Mm -hmm. Music was also coming from the tree. Mother said there were speakers hidden among the decoration. It was very interesting. Uh, yeah, okay, good job. So what is that? What is meant by atmosphere of Christmas? We soak up. Mother suggested that we soak up the atmosphere of Chris, uh, atmosphere of Christmas. Okay, atmosphere of Christmas is like the ambience, the vibe. Like uh, you go to this place and then you totally soak up in the atmosphere of Christmas or soak up in the Christmas atmosphere. It's like you go on and then you see the Christmas tree, and then you start taking photos, and then you try to sing, and then you will start singing songs like Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, like that. So um, you totally soak up the atmosphere of Christmas. Okay? Understand? In Chinese, atmosphere is called qi fen. Christmas the qi fen. Understand? You soak up. Soak up is like you totally immerse yourself. 你沉浸进去里面那个 Christmas 的气氛, okay? Soak up is called 沉浸, 沉浸去, okay? It's like um, you yourself immerse yourself into this Christmas atmosphere, okay? Understand? So you can put a bracket for this, soak up the Christmas atmosphere, okay? So of course, um, when you soak up in the Christmas atmosphere, you don't wish to carry so many things, right? So that's why you put your things into your car first, okay? And then you see a big Christmas tree, okay? You see a big Christmas tree outside one shopping mall. And you can see a lot of exterior of the malls are beautifully decorated, okay? You can see the exterior of the malls, okay? Exterior means outside. Outside the malls, you can see that the malls are beautifully decorated with some uh de with some Christmas decorations. Okay, get it? You can see ornaments, you can see um stars, right? Yeah. Okay, do you know what is ornaments? Do you all know what is meant by ornaments? Ornaments is the round thing that you hang on the Christmas tree. It's like a ball, you know, you hang on a Christmas tree. Christmas ornaments. Let me show you that. Christmas ornaments. Uh, right here. 
this one. Can you see that? It's like a ball that you hang on the Christmas tree. Okay? Yeah. So, and then you can see a lot of colorful bells and uh, flashing lights. Okay? Right. In Chris, I mean, for Christmas uh, season, you will see a lot of colorful bells and flashing lights. Okay? On the exterior of the shopping mall or maybe on the Christmas tree. Okay? And you can see the mistletoe. Do you know what is mistletoe? Okay, I read for you are uh, ornaments. Ornaments is basically the round thing, the, the round ball that you hang on the Christmas tree. This is the ornaments. And then you have another one, it's called mistletoe. There is a song called mistletoe, mistletoe called, uh, I mean, there is a song called mistletoe by Justin Bieber. Okay, I'm not sure whether you have heard of it before or not. Never. <laughs> okay, it's basically the car that you hang on top of the Christmas tree. That is called a mistletoe. You can look at the mistletoe and make a wish. And um, yeah, you make a wish right there. Okay, like what do you want to uh, wish for? All right, and you wish that you, you hope your dream come true. Okay, good. Abby, can I have you to read the next paragraph? We cross the other side. We cross to the other side of the road and walk back. There were buskers singing Christmas carols. We bought ourselves an ice cream sandwich, each as we walked past the decorated malls. When we finally reached the car park, we were tired. Yeah, correct. So what is meant by buskers? Buskers are basically street performers. Okay, street uh, sorry, street performers who perform by singing. Okay, you can write buskers are basically street performers. One of the street performers. And write over there. Street performers who sing. If you go to Singapore, you might see buskers, okay, like singing on the street. And then they will have a donation box for uh, anyone who are interested to donate money. They can do it. Okay, they can do so. Okay, they sing Christmas carols, not my name, okay? Carols is basically the Christmas song. Okay? Understand? So, the next one. Um, Bier, can you read the next paragraph during the journey home? During the journey home, Father added that the Christmas season put many in a good mood. We enjoyed ourselves during our shopping. We also like looking at the bright lights and the sparkling decoration on our way home. We can't wait for Christmas to come. Yeah, correct. Okay, good job. So what I'm going to do for the next um paragraph, right? Okay, sorry, I don't have anything to talk about the last paragraph. Okay, yes, we are going to write a composition on Chinese New Year. So there's nothing much I can say. Um, maybe you can write something down. Okay, based on the picture, you write something down. So what do you uh so? Maybe two weeks before Chinese New Year. What do you do? You buy? You prepare for Chinese New Year. So what do you buy? Buy new clothes. Huh? What did you say? New clothes. New clothes? Buy new clothes. New clothes. Okay, I'm going to write new clothes. Like, paper decoration. Huh? CNY decorations, is it? Yeah. Yeah, CNY decorations. Where do you go? You go to the shopping malls or supermarket. Okay, so what are some CNY decorations? Prepare food. Hmm? Food as well. Like you can say um, boxes of mandarin oranges. You will buy several boxes of mandarin oranges. And soft drink. And write mandarin oranges. And what else? 
and soft drinks. Okay, like Coca Cola, hundred plus. Yeah, a few cartons of soft drinks. Kikapoo. All right. Um, and then for, for, adults they will buy shandy. Okay, it's a bit uh alcoholic. Okay. <clears throat> Or they buy tiger, <laughs> tiger beer, okay, but it's for adults only, okay, kids cannot drink it, okay, and also you can buy pork jerky, you can write jerky, J-E-R-K-I-E-S, so means got a lot la, okay, not one but many jerkies, you can, you can buy some chicken jerkies or pork jerkies, they are not halal, basically okay uh yeah for chinese new year decorations you can buy some red lanterns yeah, red lanterns red packets and also couplets couplets are in chinese it's called twin lian couplets yeah okay so number two what can you see Lion dance. Right? You can you saw a lion dance. Okay. Lion dance for number two. So you can see that the lion uh the performers, you can see say that the performers they are very brave. They jump on the pillars. Do you know what is pillars? They jump yeah. on the pillars. Yes, right. The pillars are like, you know, in Chinese it's called zu zi. You know, they will they will have pillars and then they jump on the pillars. Uh. It's very dangerous for 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 them. But they are trained, okay? They are trained to do it well. Okay? Number 3, what can you see for for the third picture? The guests come to our house. You can say guests come to our house and then we offer oranges. Okay, you, you offer orange as a sign of respect. Okay, you offer oranges to them as a sign of respect and then they will give you ang bao. Right, they will give you a red packet. Okay, get it? So... A lot of people they might not un they might not understand why do we buy so many mandarin oranges. In, in uh in Cantonese it's called gum, right? Gum it sounds like gum. Okay, gum is basically gold in Cantonese. So when we offer oranges to people, it's like a symbolism of we offer gold to them. It's like a blessing. Okay, like I wish that uh, I wish you a prosperous year. Okay, I wish that you will get rich like that. Understand? Yeah, it's a, also a sign of respect. Okay, and also um, it symbolizes health, good health. All right, when you eat oranges, it's good for your health. Vitamin C, it has vitamin C. <laughs> okay, get it? And then the fourth one. You can say, you watch the firework display. Okay, for the fourth picture, you can say what? Watch a firework display. It's up to you. You can say you watch a firework display or you went to the temple, to the Chinese temple to ask for blessing. Uh, Went to the Chinese temple to ask for blessing. Okay. For Buddhists, la, Buddhists, they will go to Chinese temple to ask for blessing. Like um, yeah, they will uh they will worship God first and then they ask for blessing, right? Yeah. Ask for peace and um they will ask for peace and also more money. You know, Chinese, uh, Chinese, we love money. <laughs> All right. Most of the time, we always ask for more money. And 
good health. Okay? Understand? But you can write anything la for number four. Watch a firework display or you visited your uh auntie and uh, your auntie and uncle's house. Okay. So let's write about uh Chinese New Year, okay? Hmm. So you can also see festive cookies. You can see some festive cookies over here. Okay. Yeah, so for Chinese New Year, you can write down in your uh write it down in your writing book or maybe you can write on this paper as well. But it's better to write it in your writing book so you don't lose it. Okay? So on your writing book, you can write Chinese New Year. And then you can start writing. Okay. So what will you write? You already can start with the first paragraph. Like you can follow a little bit on uh, the Christmas um, what is it? The Christmas celebration. Yeah. So how would you begin with the first paragraph? At first, we have before preparation. We have before preparation. Uh, sorry. We have before the occasion and then during the occasion and after the occasion. So we can say before. Two weeks before or three weeks before, it's up to you. Or one week before. Two weeks before Christmas. Okay, about two weeks before Christmas. Okay. Or two weeks, you can write two weeks before Christmas. Oh, sorry, two weeks before Chinese New Year. Mm -hmm. And after that, my mother and I. My mother and I went mm -hmm. to night market. Yeah, okay. My mother and I went to. Went to where? Went to a night market. A night, a night market? Okay, can. Like a night market. For a shopping spree. You can say for a shopping spree. It's like you buy a lot of things. Okay. For a shopping spree. I thought you were going to write supermarket. You know, supermarket is like NSK, uh, Aeon. Like you can buy lots of things there. Mm -mm. But it's okay. I mean, at the at the night market, you will see people selling uh, Chinese New Year decorations as well. Okay. So, Lero, you can tell me... Uh, like during that period of time okay like when you went to uh, i mean when you go to a night market for a shopping spree what can you buy yeah why what would you buy we bought this hmm? what is it we bought we bought omelets and cookies all all mis? What is all mis? We bought. I I couldn't hear you. I I heard you say. 
Sorry, can you spell it for me? O R A N G E S. Oh, oranges. Okay, oranges. Okay, I got you. We bought, you can say we bought a few boxes of mandarin oranges. Okay, we bought a few boxes of mandarin oranges. And say mandarin oranges because we have uh different types of oranges. We can say mandarin oranges, or you can say tang tangerines. Okay, we bought a few boxes of mandarin oranges. What else? Imagine you you went there. You you will buy some um soft drinks as well, right? We bought a few boxes of mandarin oranges soft drinks right a few cartons of soft drinks what else uh just like you said cookies yeah correct a few cartons of soft drinks and some festive cookies too you can say some festive cookies because we have many types of cookies, you can say festive cookies are um, more accurate. Full stop. Yeah, even the Malays, they also buy festive cookies. Hmm. Then you can say we also purchased what? Yeah, you can say as we walk through the night market, we were um you can say we was uh we were attracted by the beautiful lanterns, okay? Right. As we walk through Uh, at ED at the back, okay, because it's in the past, okay, as we walk through the night market, we can or we could see, we can see or we could see many uh beautiful lanterns, what is it? We can see or we could see, Yishin. Mm. We can see or we could see in past tense. We could see. Yeah, we could see, correct. We could see. Okay. We could see. As we walk through the night market, we could see many beautiful um lanterns okay many beautiful lanterns hanging above us okay hanging above us say All right. As we walk through the night market, we could see many beautiful lanterns hanging above us. Okay. So the next one. Yeah, you can also say we, uh, I mean, then we, we went to the DIY. You know Mr. DIY store? Do you all know it? Yeah. When you go yeah. there, what can you buy? A lot of things. A lot of things. Yeah, you can buy a lot of, a lot of things like uh, the CMY decorations, right? 
Yeah, then the next day, okay, you can say then. I mean, uh, then we went to visit. Visit what? Visit the local. Yeah, because Mr. DIY is a Malaysian store, okay? It's a local Malaysian store. So, you can say, then we went to visit the local Mr. DIY store, okay? You can say, Mr. DIY in capital letter, yeah? Okay? Then we went to visit the local Mr. DIY store. We bought many beautiful lanterns and Chinese New Year decorations there, okay? We bought or you can say we purchased, okay? Another word for bought is purchased. We purchased. Yeah, Felice, what did you say? We purchased what? We purchased Chinese New Year stuff. Chinese, uh, sorry, we purchased some Chinese New Year what? Decor. Um, decorations. Huh? Decorations. Uh, decorations, yeah. You can say we purchased some Chinese New Year related decorations. Related. It's called related. Okay. Decorations. Like what? Like land, like red lanterns. Cherry blossoms, you can say cherry blossoms. Do you all know what is meant by cherry blossoms? It's a kind of flowers, yeah. Zero, you know it, right? Cherry blossoms is basically a kind of flowers. It's pink in color. All right. Yeah, like red lanterns, cherry blossoms, and... What is it? Hmm. And couplets. You can say, and Chinese couplets. Couplets are like twin lian in Chinese. Okay, couplets. Like it could be... um diamond in shape or it could be a rectangular in shape and you can write something on it. You can write the Chinese characters on the Chinese couplets. Hmm. Okay. Good. So what else? So after that, you can say my mom went to the bank for what? To exchange what? New? Like what would your money, or what would your mother do? What would your mom and your dad do before Chinese New Year? Because they, they, they want to like, you know, give ang pao's right? Yeah, of course, you need to make sure the banknotes are new, correct? Do you like receiving banknotes that are old and crippled like that? Do you like it? No, right, Lero? How about the rest of you? You don't like it. You don't like it when the banknotes is old and crippled. So that's why your parents will go and exchange the banknotes, okay? Exchange the banknotes into new ones, okay? Right, you can say after that, okay? After that, my parents. Yeah. My parents what? Went to the... Okay, I want to ask uh, Abby. You continue. After that, my parents went. Uh... Oh, okay, you can. What is it, Abby? Yes. Yeah. Can you continue? After that, my parents went to? Um, 
Now that my parents went to uh, and just now I talk about bank notes. I I didn't yeah. listen because my internet Shun was bad. Uh, went to the bank. They went to the bank. Went um, to the bank. bank. And, uh, to take money and then uh put in the envelope, the red packet. Draw money. Okay, you can, but then they would. You can say they went there to exchange new banknotes. Can say. All right. Uh, yeah, you can say withdraw cash la. You can say withdraw cash. Okay. They after that, my parents went to the bank to withdraw cash. <coughs> withdraw some cash. Okay. For red packets preparations, like you can say for uh red packets preparation. After that, my parents went to the bank to withdraw some cash for red packet preparations. For red packets preparation, okay. For red packets preparation. All right. Yeah. Withdraw some cash means to take up some cash. Okay. For red packets preparation. So you can say on the first week of Chinese New Year, okay, on the first week of Chinese New Year, what did you do? Yeah. You are, okay, on the first week of Chinese New Year. Uh, so you can say, where did you go? We went back to... Our paternal and maternal's hometown. Do you know what is that? Paternal and maternal. Paternal is for daddy, daddy side, and then maternal means mommy side. Ah, uh, hometown. Okay, you can say. On the first week of Chinese New Year, my family and I went to. My paternal and maternal's, ah, home, uh, home hometown. You know. Get it? Your, your father and mother's side. Okay, get it? On the first week of Chinese New Year, we went back to, um, sorry, can I say, I okay, you can say I because you want to say my right. I went back to my paternal and maternal <clears throat> I'm sorry to drink some water. hometown okay on the first week of Chinese New Year I went back to my paternal and maternal hometown get it okay yeah we went there to what we went there to visit what? 
Oh yeah, we you can say with my family. Okay, I went back to my paternal and maternal hometown with my family. You can say with my family. Don't forget about that. Okay. Um. Ichin, you tell me. What would you do that? We went there to visit who? Or you can say, um, my relatives and I will gather there. We'll gather there or get it there. So Eugene, you continue with it. On the first week of Chinese New Year, I went back to my paternal and maternal hometown with my family. Uh huh. You continue with the sentence. What can you think of when you go back to your hometown? Mm -hmm. hmm? What did you say? Grandpa and Grandma. Uh-huh. We went there too. Visit. Yeah. You can say visit. See. Mm -hmm. Can. Or you can say visit. Tan Wang. In Chinese, visit. Called Tan Wang. We went there to visit our... Grandpa and grandma. Yeah. <clears throat> we went there to visit. My grandfather and grandmother. Or you can say grandparents, you can say grandparents, so you don't need to write so long, okay? We went there to visit our grandparents, you can say. We went there to visit our grandparents together with our relatives, you can say together with our relatives. So what do you do there? Ah, uh, you can talk about the activities you do there. Yeah, please you can tell me like when you visit your grandmother and grandfather together with your relatives, it's boring, right? It's a bit boring. Of course, you won't stay there and then play with your phone, correct? It's very rude, right? So what do you do there? Make everyone happy, honey new year. Make everyone happy, huh? What is it? Wait, every wish everyone Chinese New Year. Wish everyone Chinese New Year. Other than that, yeah, you can say I wish my grandparents, I wish them happy Chinese New Year. And then Ask for it. Yeah, play for game. Oh, play some games. Yeah, I can. Okay. You don't say I wish them happy Chinese New Year and ask for money. No, okay. You don't you don't do that, okay? Right. So you can say, uh we I wish them and happy watch Chinese. TV. And watch TV. Okay, good. I wish everyone happy Chinese New Year when I see them. Okay. I wish Everyone in the house. And then you can put a speech mark. Happy Chinese 
New Year. We also gathered, okay? The young, uh, the young, you can say the young ones gathered together, okay? Or you can say, I also gather my cousins, okay? I also gather my cousins to play games with me, okay? I also gather my, uh, with ED, okay? Because it's already past, okay? You can say, I also gathered my cousins, Together to play some uh to play what card games or to play poker cards. What do you play? You are Yeah, I also gathered my cousins to play what? Poker cards. Poker cards, okay. And poker cards. While my parents, okay, while my parents gather the older ones to play mahjong, right? Yeah. So your kids, you all play poker cards, okay? While the adults, they play mahjong, okay? Right, I also gathered my cousins to play together to play poker cards while my parents and aunties, uncles, okay, while my parents, aunties and uncles, while my parents, comma, aunties and uncles, Play what? What do they play? Hmm. Older ones, they what do they play? Yeah, they can play poker cards also. And most importantly, they play mahjong. Okay. Anyone here, your, your parents play mahjong? Raise your hand. Oh, you see your mom, your mom plays mahjong. Do you know how to play mahjong? You don't know, right? Me too. I also don't know how to play mahjong. <laughs> okay? To play mahjong. Mahjong. I also gathered my cousins together to play poker cards while my parents, aunties and uncles play mahjong. Okay. <clears throat> so Lero, you can say on the last day of of Chinese New Year. So what do you see on the last day of Chinese New Year? Uh where do you go? Or where do you or what do you see? On the last day of Chinese New Year. We went to see the lion dance. Uh, to see the what? Lion dance. Oh, lion dance. Okay, where do you see the lion dance? At night. Huh? At what? At night. At night. Huh? Do they perform at night? Lion yes. dance? Really? Yes. Oh, I thought in, in daytime only. So where okay. do you see the lion dance? At the temple? Yeah. Lion and dragon dance, do they do they do it together? Like lion dance and dragon dance together? No, they don't. So you can say go we went to the temple. Uh, you can say we went to the Chinese temple and uh we watched the lion dance. 
right? Yeah. On the last day of Chinese New Year, my family and I, because you need to tell like where, like where do you see the lion dance, okay? My family and I went to the Chinese temple. Chinese temple. What? To watch a lion dance, is it? To watch the lion dance. <clears throat> on the last day of Chinese New Year my family and I went to the Chinese temple to watch the lion dance you can say it was spectacular okay you can say we could see the lion dancers we could see the dancers jumping on the pillars we were so scared that they would hurt themselves, right? Yeah, I can say they were the the performers, or you can say the dancers were okay. You write were because it's in the past, okay? You can say the dancers were jumping on the pillars. And we were so worried, okay? And we were so, uh, like, we were so shocked or we were scared, right, that they will fall down or what, okay? And we were spellbound. Spellbound is like, <gasps> like that, okay? Like, you were very surprised. The dancers were jumping on the pillars. And we were... Spellbound. Spellbound is like very amazed. And we were amazed, you can say. Right? And we were amazed. So what would you receive at the Chinese temples, everyone? We also receive some what from the lion dancer from the lion dancers. What would you receive? Yeah, what is it? Hmm? Abby, you wanna try do you wanna try? Like you continue with the final paragraph. Like what would you write some more on this? And then you can say at night. What do you say at night? At night, uh, we all play the firework and we okay. watch the firework display. Yeah, okay. At night, we... play... with... Uh, can you say play with uh? Can you say play fireworks? Okay, let's see. Um, let me use this. Can I say we played fireworks? Can I say we played fireworks. No, you can't say we played fireworks. You say we watched the fireworks. How about starting the fireworks? Okay. How about starting the fireworks? What should you say? Yeah, you can say start the fireworks. Means you are igniting the fuse of the firework to begin the display. Yeah, we started the fireworks. You should say we we started the fireworks, not we played the style fireworks. At night, we started the fireworks and watched it. 
Okay, at night, we started the fireworks. And watch the firework display. It was very loud, like a bomb. Okay. At night, we started the fireworks and watched the firework display. It was very loud. It was as loud as a thunder, you can say. It was as loud as a thunder. And it was deafening, okay? And it was deafening means like it's so loud that it's so very deafening. Okay, it was as loud as a thunder and it was deafening. Okay, and it was deafening. Deafening. Full stop. It was the most memorable Chinese New Year ever, you can say. Yeah. It was the most memorable Chinese New Year ever. Ever. Can you all take out your uh, grammar book and um, vocabulary book? These two books. And tell me which page we haven't done yet. <clears throat> okay, Felix, can you turn on your camera, please? Is your camera on? It's it's not working. I couldn't see you. What happened? Uh, are you at home now, Felice? No. No, you're still outside. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Did you bring your books? No. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you brought your books. Okay, good. So, can you all tell me, like, um, for... Grammar, which book are we using for grammar? Is it book four or book five? Grammar book five. Grammar book five, okay. And uh, which page are we supposed to do? Uh, 21st. 21st. Yeah. Grammar book five, lesson twenty. Uh, 21st, is it? No, lesson six. Lesson 20. six. Oh, okay. Hold on, yeah. Lesson six. Lesson six. We we should start lesson six. Uh, we should start lesson six. Is it? Yes. For next week, we should start lesson six. This one, right? Okay. Next week we'll do lesson six, and then what about uh your your vocabulary? Are you still using book four? Yes. Yes, vocabulary still using book four. And which page is it? Exercise eighty nine. Eighty nine. Eighty five. Eighty five. Okay. Can we do exercise 85 now? Exercise 85. 
Yeah, Libro, do you have it? Yes, you do. Great. So, Yixin, how about you? Exercise 85, vocabulary, do you have it? Exercise 85, vocabulary, it's vocabulary. Yeah, Felice, do you have that? No. No. Uh, no. I thought you brought your books over. I thought it's another one. Oh, you thought it's another one. <laughs> I see. But never mind. We only have uh, like nine more minutes left. So we wouldn't uh, complete much. Okay. Yeah. So you can try to remember the answers. And then you can go back and do it. Okay, vocabulary book four. Okay, so you are you can do the first one. What is it? The queen what her country wisely. So what is it? If you say you want to govern the country, there is another word for that. Yeah. The, the queen ruled her country wisely. Yeah, rule. The queen ruled her country wisely. So it's the first one. The queen ruled okay, her country okay. wisely. What about directed? Yeah. Directed is like you can say the director yeah. directed them to um, practice on the scene. Okay, practice on the scene. The scene means like it's a part of movie that you need to practice on. Okay, like maybe this scene is very hard to, to act. So the director would direct the uh, actors to act why to act properly for um, the the scene like that okay all right so the next one Lero number two this old house has been it's like empty for many years it's like abandoned the old house has been so what is like empty yeah any idea the old this old house has been Or you are not sure with it. Choose. Hmm? What is it? Choose. Which number? Number three. Number three. Yeah, vacant. Vacant, correct. Vacant. Vacant means empty. Okay, do you all know what is hollow? Hollow means like inside it's empty. For example, the straw, the straw is hollow. You know, the straw that we use to suck the water. Uh-huh, the straw, the straw is hollow. Inside, it's empty. Okay, get it? Yeah, so the old house has been vacant for many years. What about gloomy? Gloomy is like sad, a bit sad. Okay, or you can say it's gloomy. Okay, it's gloomy now. You can talk about the weather. Okay, you can write gloomy. You can use it for weather. Or you can be use it for your mood. Your mood means like you look so gloomy, so sad. Okay, gloomy. A gloomy weather. It can be used to describe the weather. Okay, which is a bit dark like that. While moody is also the same. Okay, for the mood. You look so gloomy today. What happened to you? Okay, like that. Okay. Abby, how about number three? Floods usually what during rainy seasons? Usually, uh, the fourth one. Yeah, occur. Okay, occur means fasten in Chinese. Occur during rainy seasons. Yeah, correct. Occur in Chinese called uh, fasten. The occurrence of flood is very common in Terengganu. Okay, Terengganu is a state in Malaysia, right? And also Kelantan. Okay, the flood is the occurrence of flood is very 
common in Kelantan and Terengganu. And it's very hard for them to fix it. Okay? And it flood usually occur during rainy season. Okay, number four, Yixin. The court found him what of the crime? So what is it? Guilty or innocent? Yeah, the court is like the judge will say that, oh, okay, you are wrong, and then things like that. So what is it? The court found him true, found him guilty, found him correct, found him wrong, crime. Hmm? What is it? Number two, yeah, guilty. You say guilty. The court found him guilty of the crime. Okay, guilty means you have done something wrong. Okay, and you are proven to be guilty. Okay. Felice, how about number five? The horse what across the ditch? The horse leap across the ditch. Um, by right, the answer is supposed to be hopped. Okay, let me check again. Let me check the answer. So this is exercise uh, 85, right? Exercise 85, number 5. 85. Number 5 is... Oh, okay. It's actually left. I'm sorry, left. Wait, hold on. How is it different? Hold on, hold on. Give me a moment. Let me check. Eighty-five. Uh, one three four two one. One three four two one. Let me check. One three four two one. Oh yeah, correct. is for human and lab is for horse. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you for telling me that. Hop, yeah. Hop is for human. Everybody, you can write. Hop is for humans. But then uh, for grasshoppers, is also a... Uh, what about grasshoppers? Grasshoppers, we also use the word hop. Now, the grasshoppers hop. Um, While well, lap is for animals, is it? Or for horses? Okay. So the horse leapt across the ditch. And then number six, uh you are one of the passengers was what? Injured. Of the passengers was seriously injured in the accident. Yeah, one of the passengers was seriously injured in the accident. Okay, we have four more questions left. So Lero, next one, please look up the what of the word in the dictionary. Easy. Please look at the meaning of this word in the dictionary. Correct. Please look up the meaning of this word in the dictionary. Number eight, Abby, the sailors jumped out of the boat once they reached the... The sailor jumped out of the boat once they reached the shore. Yeah, I think shore also, okay. Shore is like the bank, the 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 bank of the 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 what is it called? Mm, the the sea. Is it shore? Uh, number eight. Is it number one? Number eight. Yeah, correct. Shore. Ishi number nine. The soldiers laid down their weapons and. Yeah, when you lay down your weapons, means what? You don't want to fight anymore. Number two. Number two, what is it? Surrender. 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 Yeah, correct. The soldiers let down their yeah, weapons and surrendered. Okay, surrounded means like a lot of people are, uh, are making circle around you. Surrounded. Well, abandoned is like um like they leave you alone. It's called abandoned, like. Like abandoned babies, they are actually pretty. It's pretty sad for babies to be abandoned. Okay, and what about apprehended? Apprehended. Apprehended means the same as arrested. 
You can say arrested. Apprehended is the same as arrested. Means they are caught. Okay, they are caught. Number 10, police. The motorist was fined for driving what? It's like carelessly. What is it? Hmm? Recklessly, yeah. Recklessly. The motorist was fined for driving recklessly. Okay, reckless mean, uh, recklessly means like carelessly. Okay, that's it. So next week, we will uh, do grammar. All right, we will do grammar together. Together with uh, exercise 86 and 87, 88, 89, 90. Yeah, we, we almost finished book four, okay? We almost finished book four. All right, clear? So thank you for coming and I'll see all of you next week for our grammar and uh, vocabulary lesson. See you. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Goodbye. You're welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye, teacher. Bye, Jean.